Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. We're Po on the Call. My name is Chris Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack. <laughs> yeah, so we're here for another episode. Today, we're introducing the wonderful Jenna Dreamfire of Cape Cod Poe Parties and more. I'm so excited. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you so much for being willing to share your story with us and to share also a little bit about who you are as well. <laughs> Yes, excited, thanks for yeah. uh, for listening, and I'm so happy to share with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Um, I you want to start off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what originally brought you to pole dancing? Uh, yeah, so I wanted to, a long time ago, I wanted to take a dance class, but here on Cape Cod, where I live, there wasn't really like that many adult classes. There was some hip hop classes I was looking at. And when I was searching, I came across pole dancing and I just thought to myself, wow, that must be an interesting way to work out. Um, and I needed to work out at the time. So I was trying to find something that would be like fun and I would want to stick with it. So I signed myself up with one of my friends and was like instantly hooked, you know, um, after my first class, I was like, couldn't wait to come back. <laughs> Oh, gee, I love it. So you were just looking for dance classes and you found hip hop and pole dance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, looking up hip hop and ended up pole dancing. That's so it. funny. <laughs> like, yeah. This is fine. <laughs> yeah. Which brings, which um, I love that because it brings us into our next question. Do you have any um, history in dance or movement or any sports even before pole dancing? No. Yeah. That's the thing. Um, is like, I really didn't, you know, when I was, I think maybe like six years old, my mom tried to get me into like tap dancing, you know? So I did it for like a year. Um, I don't know if that helps me with the tap dancing or not, but, <laughs> um, before that I actually, um, taught surf lessons and I rode horses for like 11 years growing up, you know? So, um, the pole dance, it was just like completely different. I, I never really got into dance before and, Pole dancing made me really um, see how beautiful and awesome dance in general is for everybody. I love that. So you taught surfing and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I used to drive a big surf bus. <laughs> I I love that. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome! Yeah, <laughs> too funny. <laughs> and and horseback riding those are require a lot of like balance and, and like core control so you probably had a lot of stuff that you needed uh, right I or was it so. hard yeah <laughs> was, right? was it like, a hard transition yeah, right <laughs> no not really I mean like you know it's it's interesting pole took over my whole life homies like I didn't even, I was like, cool. I don't need like any weight. I don't need the weather to be perfect for this. I don't need to wait for the tide, the wind. Like that's the thing is like when you're doing the outdoor sports, like all these, you know, stars have to align, but with pole, like I could do it anytime I wanted, you know? Um, and that was different. And I just was so hooked. So I kind of stopped surfing and really focused on pole dancing. Wow. I didn't even think about that. Um, for yeah. I, mean, it makes sense to I kind of feel bad when I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I feel like pole dancing doesn't require any weather channel reports. Yeah. <laughs> that seems more doable. <laughs> yes. And just like there was something unique about it and different. There was something freeing than just like your average like sport, you know? So that I obviously, I wasn't getting you know, when I was surfing or doing those other sports. Um, but you know, those are really cool sports and I hope someday I'll surf again. It's uh, a little harder these days, but <laughs> pole dancing is super fun. <laughs> I'm so happy yes. I found it, you know? Yeah. Oh, gee, I can't wait to see you surf. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, we'll have to go next time you're on Cape, you know? Yeah. That would be so fun. <laughs> Yeah. I've never been. I've never tried. I've been from the boogie. I've never tried either. Uh, what? Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's super fun. You guys should give it a go. You know, yeah. you gotta shred the gnar. 
<laughs> just for the lingo, just for oh, the yeah. lingo, I would go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just for the lingo. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> well, how long ago was that? When when did you take your first full class? That was probably yeah, like eleven years ago now. Maybe wow. yeah, I feel like it's around that. You know, um, it's it's been quite some time. I also feel like we we're in this time warp. Um, you know, with the last like two years, so I'm like, wow, those flew by. Um, yeah. Yeah. 11 years. Um, and then I started teaching pretty, pretty quickly, you know? Oh. Yeah. Did you know that you wanted to teach or was it like it, it, you had to do it? <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, yeah, no, I didn't really, um, I didn't really like expect that when I first started, you know, pole dancing. Yeah. I was taking classes and then the whole teaching thing just kind of like, fell into my lap a little bit and I was also presented with like a studio space that was like affordable it was small like carpet floors you know um and I couldn't say no to that you know wow that's <laughs> awesome that's just, just like happened and you did it that's incredible <laughs> thanks <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's incredible like how just life sometimes like throws something and it changes your life forever mm -hmm. yeah and did you did you like because you just said that you had a space so you just right away at a studio and everything With, um, how yeah so basically it was like I had a, I was training at this studio, right? And then they closed. So there was not really like anywhere to train. And so I was just training at home. And then like people from that studio and like friends saw what I was doing. And then they wanted to come and try it. So I hosted like pole jams and things like that. And then people started coming over and I was learning things. So like I would kind of show, you know, and they wanted to learn it too. And then that studio space opened up and I was like, maybe I do want to teach. That would be pretty cool. I do seem to be good at it. And I already have this like background with teaching these surf lessons, you know, and I always had like really good customer service because my dad ran like a toy store and I was like the manager and had to like deal with a lot of people all the time <laughs> and kids and things. Um, so yeah, I just felt like I could do it. And I just, do you take the opportunity or do you not? And I was like, well, I'll do it. And so I worked a job like nine to five or whatever, and then would go and teach my classes at this little tiny studio space and then go home, do it all again. <laughs> wow, that, that must have been yeah. so busy. I can't even imagine. What got you mm -hmm. into um, performing? Because um, I know you started competing after um, teaching and starting. Yeah. So I, it's so funny. I feel like I've been on quite a interesting journey. Um, mine is a little different because I'm in a spot where like pole dancing isn't really big. There's not like, you know, Cape Cod, like there's not like a big city right nearby. Like Boston is like, you know, two hours away. So my situation is a little unique. When that studio closed, there was only like me for a short while, I feel like. Um, and I wanted to have access to like other pole dancers and see the big wide world, <laughs> the big wide pole dancing world and community that was out there. So it sure seemed like my little nerd at home studying pole dance on the internet. It seemed like I should probably start performing, possibly competing one day. Um, I was kind of moving around after that studio space. And then I was in this space that was like out of a gym and it really motivated me to just like go for it, you know, seeing all the people too, like bodybuilding and stuff and then go for it. And like, I really wanted to grow. So I was like, Hey, let's do it. And I did it for like four and a half years. <laughs> and it was really, it was really awesome. You know, it was quite a learning experience. <laughs> Do you have any like um, 
what are some of your favorite memories from performing and um, competing? What are my biggest what? What are um, some of your favorite memories from those four years of performing and competing? It sounds like a lot of experience. I can't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had, um, you know, I would go do these things by myself sometimes. And then other times I would be like staying with some of my friends who were competing in the competition too, or wanted to just come and be a spectator. Um, and that was always really cool to me. Like looking forward to going on a trip with these people that are on that same sort of level, like they were into pole and out here on Cape Cod, <laughs> there was not really that many people that like understood what I'm doing. So I felt like I was like, when I would go away and compete or perform, I got to be with my people and that like felt really good to me. So I always looked forward to that. Um, yeah. And I feel like that was, that was so, like a memory that I cherish is like, when um, we went to Tampa, Florida once, I actually just posted about Bad to the Chrome. Like that was, I loved that weekend. Even though I was so sick, <laughs> I was so sick. I like had like no voice and I just did it anyways. And I remember like Alethea Austin was there and everything. And she goes up on stage <laughs> and it was kind of silent because they announced her. And I was like, oh God, I feel like I'm going to cough. Cause I was sick. So like, I wasn't like contagious, but I had this cough that just like wouldn't go away and it just like kept going. And I was so paranoid that I was going to cough when they were announcing her, but I made it through. I made it through you guys. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was like, don't you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh man. <laughs> You're like the, the the hardest part of that was holding in that cough, not competing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like, yeah, that was that was the um, memory I took home with me. <laughs> yes. Also, the neighbor's house caught on fire, so there was that. That was oh a God. wild time. Yep. And uh, I was with Brittany, Brittany Pole, and we had to uh, run. We had to evacuate out of the house, so we're just like grabbing wow. all our pole stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And getting out of there. And we went and we just went to uh, Sarah Jade's Buttercup. We just were like, we got to go to Buttercup and just chill for a second. Oh my goodness. So it was quite a weekend, you know, performing, a fire, you know, like lots of, lots of fun stuff. <laughs> Sarah Jade's Buttercup alone. Oh my goodness. That's, yeah. that's quite an experience. Yes. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Uh, how many competitions have you done? Oh, yeah. How many? Oh, man. I don't know how many exactly. Um, but uh, probably like maybe 10, I want to say. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere around that. Yeah. And I've done like some performances too, you know, that weren't competitions and things like that. Those are fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you create new pieces every time or do you reuse pieces? Or Yes, I did. Um, yeah, I did try to create new pieces every time, um, but I realized that it would be a little bit easier if I recycled some of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, yeah. Donna Carno said that to us, and I've been thinking about that, but then I was like, no, I still want to create something new. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's yeah. just, and you want to be inspired. I didn't want to get yeah. bored yeah, of what yeah. I was, yeah. I love so, that. Always a different piece, always a different song, you know? Yeah. yeah. And where do you find inspiration for your choreography? Is it the song or do you like start moving or how's that? It's a song for me. A song. Yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, yeah, I need the song. I need sound. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was thinking about that because I, like this year I started not being led by a song and I'm like what's going on and I'm trying to see if anybody else is doing this too no one so far <laughs> <laughs> so like I I will like turn when I'm trying to learn something I do like to sometimes turn the music off and like just focus right yeah and like get a little sequence down maybe and then you know but if yeah. I'm trying to like create something Yes, I, I, I got to have the music on. I feel like that really dictates, 
dictates what is going to come out of me and my body at that, that time. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But I should try to silence. Now I'm going to do it in silence and just think of you. Okay, Mandy. <laughs> and then I try to make it work for whatever yeah. song just randomly comes on next. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh thank you for sharing that process <laughs> oh, i love it do you have any upcoming competitions or performances in the future um <laughs> i do not um i do not i i you know covid kind of like that was like you know i was on a roll I felt like I was on a roll and I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to ride this train for a little while. I've done my competitions and now I just want to do like performances. That's what I was going to do. And then just like my performances got canceled. And after so long and so many things have changed in my life, I'm just like, I don't think I can do it again. I think, you know, the, I would, if like USPDF came back, then I would, I would get it together and do it. <laughs> and I'm also have, um, anxiety and I love being on stage, but it's everything else leading up to it. That's like a battle for me that I just don't think I'm at a point where I would rather like be that coach now and like see my, my students up there shining, you know, instead of like me having to deal with all of that, you know, I've had my, my go. <laughs> But maybe like I do perform like I shouldn't say I don't perform at all because I do at the end of like all my pole parties. I teach bachelorette parties <laughs> and I perform. Yeah, I perform at the end of those. I freestyle like it's so weird. I'm so weird. You guys like I'm fine with that. Like I could just bust out a yeah. freestyle. Like yeah, you can. And you're yeah. like stage pole. Yeah, yeah stage pole. Yeah. And if we were at and the, the parade, club, like, don't forget the parade. Fire, come up, like, you know what I mean? If it was like on a whim, I would be <laughs> like, fine. I'd be like, yeah, all right, let's do this. But, but not like, months planning. of planning. <laughs> yes, it's like, I just like, oh, anxiety. Mm. And then I have anxiety until that moment. And then when I yeah. step foot on a stage, I'm like, oh, okay, everything's fine. You know, people say they black out sometimes on stage. That has never happened to me. I am fully aware of what's going on. You know, and sometimes it's like, I don't know, I just leading up, it gives you such anxiety. I just don't know if I want to battle that anymore. I like performing at the end of my parties. I like performing when we do the parade, right? And if P-Town hires me at a bar, like whatever. Yeah. I like freestyling now, you know? Yeah. I would just say <laughs> she performs every year at the P-Town parade, y'all. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, I get it. I'm excited for um, if you ever start performing, even freestyles. I'm excited for whatever you come up with. That's can't wait. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> right. I've always loved all of your performances and all your choreos, and it, especially like your stage presence is so electric. Like you just awesome. have a way of like really drawing us in through the whole performance. So yeah, uh, hopefully thank you, so <laughs> you can see that Hello. again. Yeah, I know. Lift. Every time it's, lift. <laughs> it's like, you know, yeah, I, I do like part of me like kicks myself and I'm like, you should do it. You should give it a go, you know, but I don't know. I just I'm at a different point, but I hope that maybe one day we'll all be together and I can just mm. pull jam and bust out some freestyle stuff with you guys because I love dancing with other polars too. like in a studio, all of us at the same time, like. There's something so magical about that. I love that, you know, that kind I'm of sure. stuff. But I, I you, you know, like I get excited just thinking about you guys and your performances. Like I remember Mandy, you know, we've, we go way back. I remember one of the like first eight years. times I watched, <laughs> yeah, I watched you and you were so entertaining, you know, oh. and like you inspired me to want to keep going. You know, oh, thank so, you. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Thank you for saying that. So <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> right? Like, I love how we like, we come like a long way, like, definitely come a long way. <laughs> our, I know. Our, journeys, our journeys are also different. 
Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And that's what's cool. You know, it, I, I really love how cool and different the pole community is. Wow. Yes. Yeah. 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 What is your favorite, favorite style of pole? Yeah. My favorite, um, <clears throat> my favorite style. So I do, I think I love, I, it, it's hard to like, I love flow. I love simplicity, right? Like seeing, um, somebody do something so simple, right. But making it look so unique and flowy, right. And just like their own. Um, I love, I love that. And I, I, you know, I love exotic style, um, uh, of pole dance. Um, but like, for me, I'm looking for like flowy and unique, I would say, you know, I love spin pole. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. I always love your, your spin pole, like all of your combos are always so cool. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah. I love spin. <laughs> spinning is fun. Like static is really cool. I love to do static mm -hmm. but i i just i prefer my like on the pole tricks like up high i want to fly around yeah, it's yeah. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, that makes me think of another question um because mm -hmm. i kind of know the answer but to share with everybody else do you do any other aerial arts and okay. your experience with that yes um well i do the lollipop which is pole and lira smushed together um, yes. yeah, I was doing, um, Lyra for a little while, but I don't have quite the setup right now, but we were working on it <laughs> and actually Mandy helped me out a while ago with, with those Lyra videos. I remember that. Okay. Um, I think I still have those. <laughs> I'm like, I gotta go back. Um, but yes, lollipop has been super fun. Um, because it's just something so new and like, so new in the sense that like, does it have its own names for, for all these different tricks? There's not many people teaching it out there. It's almost like, I feel like I can be really creative and, and do some stuff that like, isn't necessarily planned, you know, as a professional with pole, it's definitely like a little bit easier to do the different apparatuses. I feel like I wish I had access to more, like, how do I get a spiral pole swinging pole? Let's do this. <laughs> A cage. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. The cage stand. I love the cage stands you have. Yes. <laughs> and I do She's chair, funny. like chair dancing. Chair dancing is super fun. I've always, I've always loved chair dancing. I like doing actual like chair tricks is super cool too, you know? So, yeah. So I've, I've never even realized lollipop is different than Lyra. It is in a sense because, well, you know what the lollipop is, right? It's the circle yeah. like we had yeah. on the parade, right? So it is because there's this bar where it's connected on the bottom of the hoop. And that's what makes it weird. Like I can't, like, <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, those, have you ever seen where they like just keep going through the hoop? They're like flipping around and around. Yeah. I could never do that in the lollipop. That's just one example, right? There's there's a bunch where it just makes We can do, do it on the top. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, <laughs> let's get crazy and do it at the very top. Sure, that's wonderful, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna see I'm gonna want to see this video. <laughs> <laughs> that's so much We're strange. gonna have to try it out. <laughs> um well, you know what? It, I like the Lyra like the best. Like I love pole, but like Lyra is my second love. I would love to get back on mine. Um, you know, the stage is great, but like you lose your spin a lot on the lollipop and pole in general. Like, you know, it is hard to maintain the momentum. Um, so I, I do like how fast you can spin on the Lyra because you're rigged, you know, from the ceiling. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I can't wait till I try it. I've never tried it. <laughs> yeah, you should try it. It's so fun. It looks, so fun. It looks so fun. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to love it a lot. I haven't been on a Lyra in like maybe like five years now. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. You were you were so good at it. You gotta get back yeah, on it. Like, and then I think it was when I when I felt like went really deeper into pole, I was like 
me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to like, juggle circle, it. Yeah. Circle. Yeah. Uh, circle. Line. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> line. Uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, do you, um, you don't, do you have a studio now or where do you teach? Yeah. So, uh, I don't have a studio anymore. I did own dream fire pole fitness. Um, now I am teaching out of my home. It's my living room, but I don't have like, <laughs> I don't even have a couch in my living room. You guys. Okay. I take this pole dancing out of my house very seriously, <laughs> but I have these beautiful wood floors. We have a wood stove. It's so nice. I have a great setup for it. Um, and, and it's just in my living room for the, for the meantime, because, um, I have a garage that has a higher ceiling. So we're going to convert that to like a multimedia kind of art studio. I want pole to be in there, but I, I am looking to create something next level and different as opposed to just a pole dance studio. Like I don't want people to come into my studio space and expect that because it's going to be different. Like I do have some pretty cool ideas, um, that I'm really excited about. So right now it's like just trying to get the funding ready for putting in floors and mirrors and rigging because I, I need those toys, you know, I need the spiral pole and the lira. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited, but yeah. And I, I also teach virtually, um, online and that's been really cool. I was doing that before the pandemic and then the pandemic just made me get way better at it. And I just got this good online clientele. Um, but again, like I don't teach like group classes as of lately, I've been teaching more like virtual privates and in-person privates. And then my pop-up bachelorette parties. And that's been working out really well for me. I do like where I'm at with everything. I like teaching privates. They're yeah. super fun. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I could yeah. must keep you so busy, but it must be so nice to, like, be able to focus on them and their growth rather than having to pay attention to multiple things at once. Yeah. I've been, I did that for so long, and I'm just like... You know, it is nice. I really like seeing my students progress and really focus on those few particular things in a private. Yes, I feel like all my students have really flourished since they've focused more on privates. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and is, do you offer the, the privates only online or do you um, like offer in your space or how yeah. can people take class with you? <laughs> yeah. So basically it's really cool. You just come to my house if you want to come in person. Um, and I teach usually when my kids are in school, my kids go to, cause I'm a mom. So I have two kids. I have a seven-year-old and a, and a nine-year-old. Oh my gosh. Ugh. They're good. Huh? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and so, yeah, so they go to school like pretty early. So I usually start at like eight or 9 a.m. And then I'll teach like a few privates, take a lunch break. And then maybe I have another one before I go and pick my kids up. Half of them are virtual. Half of them are in person. So people can just come to my house. I'm usually drinking coffee, you know, like it's super relaxed and, and chill here. And sometimes people come for like two hours. They'll do a double private lesson because maybe they're driving from like P-Town and that's like 45 minutes to an hour to get to me because I'm in Harwich. Mm -hmm. So, um, and some people come from like Plymouth and then again, long drive. So they'll do like two hours and that's pretty cool too. You know, um, I do like performance training too. So I help, um, a few people in P-Town and different areas that have gigs going on or that are curious. Um, lately it's been, how am I doing these pop-up pole parties, <laughs> which I'm always happy to share with people. It's so cool that people have like seen that I'm doing the, the pop-ups and that it's interesting to them, you know? Yeah. Um, so do you want to go more into the pop-up pole party? Yeah, yeah. I was going to yeah. ask you about them because they inspired ours. Um, I mean, we, we have mobile pole parties, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're pretty yeah, much yeah. the same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. We just That's can't awesome. take them off the ground yet because no one, no one is interested. Really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so I feel like it, that is, um, knowing your area, my area is unique, kind of weird, right? Because like in the winter, the, these parties are not going to happen and that's okay. You can't expect that, right? It's a tourist place. So they come in, they come here, you know, it's the tourists that are booking me, not really the locals. It's a visiting people. And it's like spring, summer, fall. Every once in a while, I'll get one in the winter, which is pretty cool because it'll be like one time it was like snowing and it was like I was in like a sunroom and it was just like all glass, you know, and you could see the snow and the sun was shining. I was like, this is cool. I should have more winter parties. (laughs) But it's like, you know, I think it works if you have an area where a lot of weddings are going on because most of the time it's a bachelorette, right? So you need a wedding tourist attraction and Cape Cod is it definitely like Chatham. I went to Martha's Vineyard, um, this, this summer I had a gig there, so I had to get on a ferry and everything. And that, that was cool. Um, so, but like, yeah, you know, being in a city, I'm not sure, you know, how that would work. Um, that might right, be it was like backyard party, anybody? <laughs> yeah, or birthday, birthday parties, you know? Yeah, because I did like have somebody who office? just had a summer party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, and, and people people here have like yards. So like, you know, not that, you, you know, it's just in a city, there's like not a large yeah, yeah. Like patio. Yeah, you can't expect the, the space yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so that's what's cool is like, I do them outside most of the time, unless it's like raining or cold. Yeah. And it's been, it's been really cool. Um, so I hope that I'll get, continue to get more and more. Um, I just wish I had, uh, more people that could teach them for me, (laughs) you know, (laughs) it's like hard to find somebody who can handle, um, like how, how much work it is. It, it is, you know, yeah, it's, it's I know quite at, a thing. At our studio, I don't teach the pole parties because they take so much energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, you're like, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, get, I'll leave it to the, the teachers who have the energy to put on the best party because yeah. I will just, yeah. And I'll get totally a good party from me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, they won't get <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Man, you'll get like the bare yeah. minimum party no, I'm just kidding. yeah 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 <laughs> I totally get that though because it is it's such an it's a you know it's like a half an hour just to set up the pole <laughs> yeah yeah I was, yeah. I was gonna say like to set it up and take it down alone I was like that those pole parties must go two three hours of your day or so yeah, yeah. three hours three hours usually yep and then yeah. at the end you have to perform you know I, I that's that's the other thing too is you know I I have been so flattered that people have like specifically requested me to teach their parties, but it's, it's just hard to find somebody who can like, I climb to the top of the pole and I drop into a split on the beat and not everybody can do that and bring that kind of stage presence. Um, there's a lot more access to that when you're near other studios <laughs> and a city and there's not here. So it's like, uh, you know, so, but that's okay. Maybe I'll build like a robot or something, you know, um, yourself. I'm thinking of training. Like I got to have somebody. So I'm thinking of like training, yeah. training somebody to do them. And so we'll see how things go. You know, there's so many amazing polars. I know that I would love, but they live so far away. You know, I love where I live, but it is definitely like, far from stuff you know yeah well hopefully you can like make it more popular in your area so for polars of the future they won't be stuck in this position (laughs) i know right (laughs) polars of the future polars of the future yeah i want it to be like uh, yeah more like access to it out here for sure like even your studio is like two and a half three hours away now for me (laughs) I know. <laughs> it's like, woo, you know, like a world but away. it's, 
Yeah. And, but it's okay. Like I've been, I love teaching the pop-up bowl parties. I really love seeing all their faces light up when they, you know, first try, cause most of them have never done it before at all. Um, yeah. and it's, it's just hella fun. I have so much fun performing, <laughs> even though I'm slightly dying at the end, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, I have such a good time and it's such a good release for me too. Like I still get a little taste of the performance life by just, you know, performing for this small group of people. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like, that sounds like so much fun. <laughs> I really wish you the best of that because you get the best of both worlds, teaching and performing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. I love, I love it. You know, I love my job. And I love that you, like, um, the, the more people you find who are, like, doing business, like, with poll, it's like everyone's got their own, stuff that they have so it's like you can just take the things that work for you and make them you know your your whole life <laughs> and your yeah. business and everything you don't have Definitely. to do like um what everyone else says in the poll world yeah, yeah <laughs> you're doing it oh my goodness we will have the link to Cape Cod poll parties and more below for y'all for your summer schedule it now <laughs> <laughs> yes <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> and I like also too like you um what you say about like thinking about the area because that's so important <laughs> yes it is <laughs> that's an important aspect yeah thank you for you sharing that just, I... you can't just buy a poll and expect people to yeah. come to your party <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, come all. <laughs> yes. so Don't done. do what Mandy did. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we're finding a use for our poll. We we have it. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Oh, th would you describe like your training style? And if you, do, you have any like cross training that you do? Um, yeah. So as of lately, not really <laughs> because I'm really focused on my students lately. Right. And it's hard to find the time for me. Like if I get spare time, I'm just in a different, like I'm trying to create other forms of art. Right. So I'm trying to juggle it all. So right now, like my training has been more like I, I don't want to overwhelm myself. So I love to go to my pole and just dance and not really have a plan lately. And that's, what's been working for me, but that, uh, you know, everything changes, you know, in life, it's just continually changing. So I'm sure it'll be different in a few months, you know? Um, but right now that's kind of where I'm at is just not having a plan and just putting on a song right and letting the song kind of lead me in my movement and I'll have a plan like yeah I want to get up there and do something but I don't I don't really know what you know and usually when I've been doing that I'm falling into really cool stuff not falling but you know what I mean ending up in really cool stuff and that has been fun for me um, and it's gotten me more excited about it instead of like having a plan, like, oh, I'm going to go up there and I'm going to do this trick. You know, I did that for so long with competing so long, so many no handed jades, Mandy, so many. <laughs> so, like, as you're talking, I'm like, wow, I wonder what that feels like to just go <laughs> right. into the studio <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just dance and not like have to do the no hands jade. Five times. Yeah. And I always have to have <laughs> I, so many plans. Like we're always making lesson plans for our students. Mm -hmm. And I just don't, I want to get out of my head. Yeah. You know, that's kind of where I'm at is it's like a meditation for me. Um, and I also want to create new shapes and things. And that doesn't happen for me if I've got a plan, you know? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> maybe that's yeah, different I, <laughs> I love it <laughs> and do you, did you say that you do other forms of art do you want to share what what else you do Ooh, yeah, yeah yeah so um I I crochet mainly right now I've done a lot of stuff throughout you know my my existence on this planet <laughs> but 
I love to crochet. Um, I used to sell a lot of my work at like craft fairs and some local shops. And then I stopped because like pole and, you know, having kids really like took over my life and that's okay, but it was hard to have time for everything. And now I have more time. So I've been um, doing all sorts of stuff. I crochet like these beautiful mandalas that you can hang on your wall. And then I am also working on a Kermit the Frog stuffed animal for a baby that's going to be born in a couple weeks. <laughs> so I do all sorts of stuff, you know, I really love crocheting like cute little stuffed animals or weird little creatures, you know, that's, that's my favorite. <laughs> Yes. Wow, that's amazing. I love, like, I love crocheting. Yes. I love crocheting, but I cannot like do like the animals, and I tend Me to like, lose patience with myself. Me too. I try yeah. to like a star. <laughs> it's so much fun, and I I have to say, shout out to those those like grandmas on YouTube. <laughs> pumping out these like really easy to follow tutorials because like uh, I couldn't have done it without them. <laughs> yeah. I'm like sitting there like, wait, 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 like pausing it, trying it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's so great. And it again, forces me to relax mm -hmm. having a studio and like the competition life and everything and juggling so much, like really, I was go, go, go. And now I'm like, I do not want to rush at all. And so crochet like forces me to like sit down and just chill and like focus on something that isn't pole. Right? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> you got to have balance, you know? Yeah. 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 Sure. But I do like, I do, you know, um, I do, I just want to say too, for like cross training, like I do some exercises with like, um, you know, flexibility, like I would say that is my cross training, active flexibility. I kind of forgot to mention that before. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, kind of that's still great cross training. I don't think people realize that. <laughs> yeah. Because it takes time. It's not like a quick, easy thing. And I think that that gets overlooked is like, I'll work on it for like an hour to an hour and a half. So that's like a whole session in itself. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. When you're training to do a move, <laughs> Chris is like, like you ready. He's doing it. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, like, active flexibility, like um, a lot of people think it's just stretching and it's not. It really does work out know, your like, strength, your core, and your flexibility. It's not just stretching. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah. That's, I feel like it really, it really got me like leg muscles working on active flexibility for my splits. Like I don't really like doing squats, but like when I was working on a lot of lunges, whew, that helped my booty out. I got to say, <laughs> it's a good workout. <laughs> yes. Active flexibility, <laughs> quad muscles. Yes. <laughs> I worked on them last night and my legs are dead. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do squats either. Yeah, like, I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> they suck. <laughs> yes, I, I would rather, I'd rather spend my time like doing sexy squats with the pole or something. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I love the pole there. Help me get back up. I get older, my knees can't take Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's what I tell yeah. everyone. They're like, oh, I, my, I, I have a bad hip from being old. I'm like, you're holding onto a pole. You're You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Just walk around. It's, it's still pole dancing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> well, what is um, your favorite pole trick? Ah, my favorite pull trick. Um, I, I think the jade split is my favorite pull trick. Yeah, I love a good jade split. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, you know, I've done the no-handed jade a lot, but and I do love that one. But I think just a classic jade split. Yeah. 
I agree. Classic Jade all the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a poem that misses this or a trick that you're trying to get and keep it? Um, just your poem that misses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> right now, I don't really have a trick that I'm trying to get, actually. I know, right? I, I kind of, and I kind of like that. You know, I kind of like not having that. I'm just trying to like, again, I'm just trying to be in the tricks that I have and enjoy the ride. Right. So, but <sighs> that damn Janeiro, you guys. <laughs> God damn. I had it one time. <laughs> Literally, I'm trying to do it. it with my friend and they're like trying to just like poke me. To like push my butt. <laughs> I'm like, it won't stay. It just, I can never like, I don't know. I just, that one is just not going to happen for me. Like I could oh. train it. Right. You know, but like, that's always been my nemesis. And I have another one too. Okay. I don't really like, I can do it, but that iguana, I don't really want to, I don't like have a desire to like, be doing iguanas I don't know like it's just never been my my thing but I think it's so cool on other people like I love seeing it it's I mean Janine Butterfly and the air walk like amazing you know um but it's just uh not one that is my cup of tea and the Janeiro is definitely the nemesis <laughs> I love it so honestly <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. I don't like the iguana either. Mm. It's frightening. I like, I don't I can, know. I'm yeah, the same way, like, like you, Jenna. I could do it, but why do I want it? <laughs> yeah, like, I just don't, you know, I feel like Yogini is one of those, too. Like, I like Yogini when I'm doing it with, like, one particular combo, and that's, like, it. And, like, you don't really see it that much. Like, just a regular Yogini. I don't know. It's like such right? weird positions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right. There is only like a few entries that I know in into it. Yeah. And only one e exit. Yeah, it's very <laughs> limited. <laughs> Wait, no, I know two exits because I fell out of it once. Like that. Oh, is well, exit. there you go. <laughs> yeah. I'll do no, an exit. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we have to create our own. That would be fun. Make a name mm. for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, what kind of um pole grip do you use? <laughs> yeah, pole grips. Um, I love dry hands. I'm sure many do. Um, yes, I, I love dry hands. I couldn't I couldn't live I couldn't live without you dry hands. Um, I use tack, um, I tack too, but, um, mainly dry hands. And then for my body, I like dew point pole that's been, um, that grip has helped me so much, um, on my contact points. I don't like it on my hands, but on my body for sure. Dew point pole. I've never heard of that. Ooh, I'm going to check that out. Really? Yeah, they have um, an Instagram and like the links right in there. So it's like super easy to get to. Um, it's kind of like, like, I, don't, I feel like maybe it's a client, it's like climate control for your skin. So it gives you like just enough stick. But I feel like it works for most people, but some body types, maybe it won't work for you know, yeah. but it didn't work for me. Yeah. Yeah. See what I mean? Like, and pull yeah. smart, um, that didn't work for me, pull smart, but some people love it, you know, um, pull smart. Oh my goodness. really? <laughs> yeah. I've, tried I've never heard of that scripts. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, um, they make a good, like all natural, um, grip as well. But oh, again, all I natural? Like it. yeah, it's the, the pull smart stuff, it's like all okay. essential oils and like cool stuff. Yeah. Oh, um, I'll have to look into it. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but yeah. And then just, I like dry hands on my hands, you know, like I use that most of the time and that's enough for me, you know, and a rag and alcohol. 
I never, I never realized how much you need a ragged alcohol and how much it's essential in pole. Like without it, like it just completely fucks up your whole practice. Yeah, I feel feel like I'd be like if I didn't have it, I'd be like really like wiping my hands on my pants, on my shorts, on my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> you know it happens. <laughs> 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 uh, um, let's see. Oh, oh. What do you? Oh, I think we went over some free time stuff. You went over crochet. <laughs> um, do you have any other hobbies or like muggle job? But I think you like teach pole like full time. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I. Yeah. I mean, like I teach full time for for me <laughs> because you know I have limited time because like I'm a mom. I have two young kids. Um, and my husband, he goes to work all day. So I have to man the fort. Um, so I feel like I usually have like five hours right during the day where I can teach. Um, and so, yeah, I usually teach a few lessons a day. And then on the weekends, I've been taking them off because I like to have those open for parties. Right. Um, sometimes I teach on Saturdays too. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty much been like, you know, trying to teach as much as possible. I don't have a muggle job except for just trying to juggle being mom and teaching pole out of the house. And when I open my new studio, you know, the garage into this next level kind of studio space, I know that's going to take more of my time as well. So yeah. <laughs> Um, and, more than yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like, you know, my kids, like they don't, I drive them to school. I pick them up. I like to do things with my kids and, you know, we, we, um, we like to, you know, go clamming and take walks and we hang out. We love our house. So we've been staying home a lot because like we have a fire pit and like we have a trampoline now and, we have like an acre of land. So it's been like super, just like fun to, you know, be in this house. We just got it in January. So it's been really nice to enjoy it. Um, yeah. And like, I, I read a lot. I love to try to read every day. So I've been trying to get back into that. I love a good story. Um, you know, yeah, I've been trying to do stuff that like, makes me feel like a kid again in a sense you know like I lost I love pole so much and it took over my whole life like so much you know but I want to keep pole and I want to like keep my other things that I really like to do too you know so um yeah so like a good day for me is like when I get to do pole and read my book and crochet and be with my kids and I make dinner (laughs) That's my typical day, you know. It's good. It's good. <laughs> That's like an amazing day. I love that. Yes. <laughs> Often, oftentimes we just work, 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 and we forget to really enjoy what we love, even our child, child. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, and like, yeah, and be happy. Like, you know, I think, yeah, happiness is the goal, and like. You know, now that I don't, I'm not running a big studio or anything like that allows me to have more time with my kids and stuff like that too, which is really, um, which is nice. I mean, I miss, there are times where I miss having a studio and everything, but like, ultimately it's been like a blessing to have more of this time. And now I don't really have to leave my house to teach at all, (laughs) Which I like. That is the dream. The dream. <laughs> right? I lo- that's yeah. why I love, like, sharing all these stories, like I said earlier, just because it shows, like, everyone that you can just make your, your life <laughs> pull yeah. in any way that you want, and, and it's going to work. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And it, it's, that's how I make it work. And, like, you know, I really like the idea of having my business be from home because, yeah. you know, it just, it, yeah, I mean, being a mom and being able to be yeah. here it just makes sense. Yeah, definitely. So awesome. Yeah. And what are your plans for the future other than this high tech <laughs> next level 
studio that I can't wait to see. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. So I really want to focus on growing my business for next summer, um, getting with some more parties and, um, I, you know, I have goals that are like, I, you know, the pole is like pretty much like trying to open this next level studio. I also want to have like week, uh, like monthly pole jams that are different than just like open pole. Like, you know, I'm trying to get like people to come and actually dance with each other in a sense, right. Creating a little, something a little different. Right. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And then like, we also, you know, now that we have this house, we really want to get chickens and I would really like to get a donkey. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I'm going to have to get two donkeys and have to get two donkeys. So then I'll be like, you know, hopefully like riding my donkey and like doing a split on the donkey in my backyard and like hanging out with my chickens and stuff. That's what I envision. <laughs> eating, eating the eggs, you know? having a good day. Yeah. Oh, and like, I, I you know, it. I love taking like, yeah, I just, you know, and I, I have like, I have ideas too. Like I, I do have this idea where like, I kind of want to run, run a pole camp someday. So like, that's on my mind. Thanks. Yeah. I haven't really said anything to too many people, <laughs> but I have, um, I feel like I have a unique setup here. Um, yeah, in my spot. So maybe someday I can make that happen like a Cape Cod pole camp. And I have lots of ideas for that. that I think would be, yeah. And, and again, like, um, you know, I love that community. Like I said before, you know, and, and I, I really am sort of like in the back of my mind, I'm fascinated by this idea of like bringing people to Cape Cod because I don't feel like people really understand how cool it is. Um, if you're a tourist, that's cool, but it's going to cost you a lot of money to do all these things and it's expensive to stay in a hotel. So I have this idea, why not come stay here? And we have a camp. I have friends who get lobsters right off the boat, right? You know, kayaking, things like that, <laughs> you know, maybe go and see some great white sharks, you know, scare the, the crap out of you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> too funny. Um, yeah. And just like, you know, we do the parade, the carnival parade every year in P town. Like I still want to grow with that and do that every year and get bigger and better, you know? And I feel like that's, that's a good amount for me. Like these ideas that I have, um, it's cool because I, I feel like I want to evolve out of, you know, having just a regular like pole studio. I want to move on to bigger and different things for me and where I'm at. And it's cool that I can start to think about that now, <laughs> you know? Yes. Living the dream. Doing it. Oh, oh my goodness. Thanks. <laughs> trying. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, do you have any advice for um, new polars? Yeah. Well, I got to have something, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I will say um, if, you know, I know that baby polars want to progress and they want to get moves down quickly um, and so they can get to big and, you know, badass things. Right. But I will say enjoying the journey and slowing down um, really helps a lot of my students progress and myself included. Um, and just don't ever give up. You know, if you like the sport and you want to get good at it, do it as much as you can. Right. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah. Yes. I think that was all the, the questions that I had to ask Jenna. Yes. Is there, any, is there anything else you would like to share, or promote with the audience and the listeners? Um, book a lesson. I'm just yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. no, the link's down just, below. Yeah. Drop, yeah. You know, hit the link. link. 
<laughs> no, uh, just, you know, follow me on the gram. And, you know, if you're looking for a, a good virtual instructor, I'm here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yes it. and you guys are so great like seriously thank you so much for chatting with me and everything our pleasure Hell thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to do this i'm so excited to share your story yes uh, so much fun <laughs> i can't yeah. wait to have a, a pole jam party where we create something together hopefully sometime soon yes <laughs> so yeah. yes uh, we're you're gonna have to calm down you're gonna have to make the journey maybe chris can you know, maybe you two could, you know, yes. uh, yeah. after competition, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, because wait, you're competing, right? Yeah. In November, yes. You're doing it. Okay. You signed up. What'd you sign up for? You have to, I have to live through you. Tell me. Level five. I am doing level, level five, five RX. Yeah. Entertainment. <laughs> wait, me. what's RX? It's the, it's the former Russian exotic. Oh, <laughs> oh okay <laughs> right oh damn okay wow i'm so excited for you oh you're gonna kill it you're gonna kill it and chris is doing pro that was unintentional <laughs> you're doing that's so excited <laughs> that's awesome oh my gosh hell yeah do you guys feel like do you feel ready like how's it going i do um i've really been working on, well <laughs> um Obviously not ready, but this year I've really learned a lot um, and focusing on the entertainment piece. I've learned it's not about doing crazy tricks. It's about really dancing, really flowing, really telling a story, and obviously nailing those tricks you do have. But I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. I'm, I feel like I have to, uh, I feel like I should, I should go this year and be a and just watch, you know? Yes. Uh, yeah. I, you definitely there's so it. many people, I feel like, doing it this year. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, which is cool because it seemed like last year was, like, maybe smaller or something like that. So yeah. Yeah. it is yeah, I think cool it was the first see. one after COVID, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's awesome. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so excited for you guys. You guys are going to crush it. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'll have to keep in touch and let you guys know if I can make it up there, and and then I'll come and scream and lose my voice again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good cut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man, Jenna, thank you so much for for being here with us and telling us your story and everything, and this was so much fun. Yes, I had so much fun with you guys. You. Thank you. <laughs> Our pleasure. Now this is the part where we get to do the fun sign out. Ah, yes. Okay, so we have to <laughs> we have to do something in the heels, right? Yes. Okay, I'm backing it up. All right, let's see. I'm bust my <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for listening or watching to Full on the Call podcast. My name is Mandy Mack. Yes, and I'm Chris Rivers. And Jenna Dreamfire. Jenna Dreamfire, we are signing off. <laughs> signing off. Oh my goodness. I love those heels she has. Right? Yeah. Those are hot. <laughs>